Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Got to talk about one thing, uh, and that's like BitBoy's predictions that, especially two things, that Ripple will win the lawsuit, which they could, and that somehow Gary Ginzer is going to be forced from his position and resign. That one is a little bit more far-fetched. Those are very, very, very optimistic projections for the crypto world. Now, I can't say that I hope that that doesn't happen because I do hope that those things actually happen. We need Ripple to win to save all coins. And Gary Ginzer has been kind of a dick, so I wouldn't shed a tear if he was actually ousted from the SEC's position. But having known John Deaton's shift in position that the SEC is probably not going to want to settle with Ripple and that the emails he doesn't think actually contain anything that actually um, he doesn't uh, that would actually be devastating the SEC case I don't think that's going to be the case and the thing is like I still put um, the Ripple SEC case at a 50-50 stalemate as to who's going to win I think Torres is actually leaning into the, to the side of Ripple at this point because she's tired of the whole SEC's antics and how they actually uh, just kind of refuse to listen to the court altogether. So I think she is uh, he is very she is very very tired of the SEC's antics and that plays in Ripple's favor. But let's not forget, even if they do win, Gary Ginzer will appeal, and Ripple has also signaled that if they lose, they're going to appeal as well. So this is going to last at least for another year or so, in my opinion. As for Gary Ginzler being ousted from the chairman of the SEC's position. I think that's really kind of um, unlikely. Yes, there is the FTX position. He's not going to be ousted because of the whole SEC battle thing with Ripple. But the only way he could get ousted is because of the FTX position. And it is because he met with Sam Bateman fried multiple times before the whole thing collapsed. And the fact that he didn't really catch anything does not speak very well for him, obviously. But right now, I'm not seeing any real signals of Ginsler actually like resigning. I'm not seeing any signals of um, things collapsing around the case. The only signal I've seen so far is the SEC's head attorney <clears throat> or head legal guy actually resigning or like basically just retiring after 30 or 40 years serving. But we're, we're not really sure on the circumstance of that retirement. He had served at the SEC for 34 years and he said he wanted to pursue other things. Now, given that he probably worked uh, at other places outside the SEC, that's over 40, maybe up to 50 years of actually a career. And we know at that point that you're about ready to retire. The guy's probably like 60, 70 years old, so he may not want to work that much longer in the first place. So the thing is like, yes, like I've said before many times, Gary Ginsler can be caught on dereliction of duty for not catching FTX, but I doubt unless SBF has a plea deal where he gives up Gary Ginzer and everyone else with proof <clears throat> that FTX uh, is not going to bring Ginzler down. It definitely would hurt his reputation, but it won't bring him down. And he's actually using FTX as an excuse to why they actually need to clamp down on crypto. So I don't really know about that prediction. I know there's various people, um, not BitBoy, but other various people that say they have, I think <clears throat> that they have uh, insider evidence that Gary Ginzer is going to step down Q1 of 2023, which is right now, but I have not seen that. And right now, based on all the information I'm receiving, that is not the case. So my guess is still a 50-50 split between whether Ripple or SEC wins the case, but Ginzer is probably going to stay on at least for another year or two, unfortunately. So those are kind of like my predictions. I don't really uh, agree with BitBoy's predictions. Don't really agree with the other YouTubers' inside information. I'm hoping that they're right. But... I don't think they are. You know, this is like one of those cases on paternity court where like the guy's hoping that he's the father, but like he has doubts whether he's the father or not. And we're in that case where the judge is about to rule. You are the blah, blah, blah. So at this point, I am hoping that they are right, but I have serious doubts on whether they are right or not. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.